Time for some more Funko news, people. I'm not doing a Saturday night vlog this weekend. I may not do another one. Um, I mean, possibly next week or the week after. I'm not 100% sure yet. But there have been some interesting releases, uh, or I should say news releases, relating to Funko. So I thought it would be nice to share some news with you this weekend. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now I'm going to start off here with some updates to some previous Funko news that I shared with you all. For one, the Batman the Animated Series figures, they're coming out a lot sooner than I expected. According to a, pers a worker at uh, GameStop, they should be out actually at the end of this month. So do be on the lookout for those. I was expecting them to hit maybe uh, early next year or something like that because that's the original date that they had on these. But I always say with Funko, their release dates, I think they just put a tentative date on there. And then a lot of times they actually do end up coming out a lot earlier. As far as this series goes, I'm pretty happy with the designs. I think I'll probably try to get the whole set. Maybe not Batgirl. I'm not crazy about the design of Batgirl, but the other ones, I think they're on point. Still wishing that they had Mr. Freeze, though. It's, it's long overdue that they have a Mr. Freeze pop in some form. You know, I, I don't care what version of the character it is. I think we just need one. Now, I also shared uh, the Stranger Things line with you all before, and there are some Chase figures in this line to be on the lookout for. Actually, two of them, at least, that are known of. And then there are some exclusives as well. So I'm not going to run back through all of these. But I did find one more figure from the Stranger Things set. And that is Joyce. Now I don't follow the series. I watched maybe just two episodes. And then I didn't really follow along with it. It just didn't really grab my attention. I don't think it's really my thing. But uh, if you know the series. Maybe you understand why they kind of held back Joyce there. And what exactly she's holding. To me it looks like a string of... Um, like a bundled up string of Christmas tree lights. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Um, and I won't even say to explain it in the comments. I don't want to give spoilers to anybody that might want to pick up on the series. And I might actually give the series another try myself. So please no spoilers relating to Stranger Things. Just wanted to make sure that I shared as many of the pops as I could with you all. Now the Scarlet Spider, I shared this previously as well. And it's really seeming like this is going to be a Walgreens exclusive. That's what a lot of signs are pointing to. The only reason I still have a question mark here is because I haven't seen the and seen any of the images of it with the actual sticker on the box. So I'm not going to say that for 100% sure, but it's really seeming like that's likely. And with there being so many Marvel exclusives for Walgreens, I really wouldn't be surprised by that. And then I've also shared previously the X-Men Mystery Minis. And when I first saw this image on the left, I was wondering if there were going to be some exclusives. And now it's pretty much confirmed that there are going to be exclusives. I don't know which figures are going to be at which stores, though, unfortunately. But there will be an Emma Frost and her diamond form exclusive. We have Psylocke as well. And then, of course, Iceman, all iced out there with doing the ice slide. That one's pretty cool. I really would like to get all of these. I think they're really well designed. Again, something I mentioned previous, I knew there was a new Jack Skellington on the way, but I hadn't actually seen the box yet. I knew he was going to be a Hot Topic exclusive, but since I hadn't seen the box, I didn't know what the exact name of this figure was going to be. But the name is going to be the Dapper Jack Skellington. Again, Hot Topic exclusive. And Hot Topic also has a Niper excuse me, a Nightmare Before Christmas mystery box, which is really not so much of a mystery. They've already done an unboxing Hot Topic actually did. If you stick around to the very end of the video, if you don't mind being spoiled on what's inside of that box, I will share it with you. But like I said, there is a video out there as well, at least on Hot Topics Periscope. I'm not sure if they have a YouTube channel or not. That's something I'll have to look into later on. But again, like I said, if you stick around to the end, you're really curious about what's in that box, I will let you know at the end. Now, speaking of Black Friday, because I'm, I'm assuming that the Hot Topic box will probably come out around Black Friday. There also is a Walmart box. Again, it's already been spoiled. And stick around to the end if you want to know what's in that box. I'll, I will share it with you for those of you that are actually interested and you don't mind spoilers. And this was just revealed yesterday. As a matter of fact, it's, it's kind of funny because I visited GameStop. I didn't pick anything up. I probably will go back. For the um, Earth One Batman because that's a pretty great looking pop 
And then I also, of course, want the Impostor Penguin. So those are two pops that are on my list to get, but I just, I'm holding off till I can get both at the same time. But anyway, I was speaking to the GameStop employee and I asked him if they're gonna get a mystery box for um, Black Friday. And the woman was like, well, well, I don't know, I haven't heard anything yet. And as soon as I left GameStop, I mean, literally pulling out of the driveway, an email popped up and it revealed this image here, showing that yes, they are going to have a mystery box Fingers crossed, hopefully they've learned from last year and that this will be a shrink wrap box like the Walmart box is. So hopefully we won't have to worry about GameStop employees going into the boxes, searching out the figures. And again, I will share spoilers for these boxes and potential spoilers at the very end of this video. Star Wars fans, I know you've been wondering, where is young Anakin? Well, calm down, people. He's on the way, and they even got some little sand on his face. You know, I mean, he, he dealt with that, of course, being on Tatooine. So, uh, yeah, don't worry. Jake Lloyd is on the way. So, hope you're all excited about that. Yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised if they do some variations of this figure. I could see them probably doing one with the helmet on that he wore for the pod racing. Um, actually, I, I think if they did, like, a Dorbs, figure of young Anakin with the um, pod his actual pod that he raced in that would be pretty awesome you know and, you know regardless of the way people feel about the character I think that would actually be very cool and uh, no word yet on if we'll get his uh, appearance at the end of the Phantom Menace uh, so just be on the lookout Star Wars fans keep hope alive moving on here another movie um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them they have yet another exclusive relating to this movie with News Commander. I ho hope that's how you say the name and Pickett. I don't, I don't know what's up with Pickett. I don't know if that's like a little friend of his or what. I did notice this image from the movie you see there on the right where something is crawling out of his like vest or satchel, whatever that may be. And I'm kind of wondering if that's like a little sidekick. Who knows? I guess we'll find out when the movie comes out. It's a little weird that Funko is putting out so many... Uh, pop figures and dwarves before these movies come out because I feel like you're kind of taking a gamble on whether or not you're going to actually enjoy the movie I mean are you going to look back at the pops like oh my goodness like why do I have all these I know I won't lie after seeing Suicide Squad and then I looked at my Suicide Squad collection I'm just like Ugh. but I mean I still like the designs of the characters so and I'm hoping that the the extended cut will be more interesting than the theatrical cut so we'll see there but again it is I do think you're kind of taking a gamble when you go out and get these figures for these upcoming movies more Hanna-Barbera on the way now I pretty much have been ignoring the Hanna-Barbera pops just not really that interested I watched the cartoons a little bit uh, when I was younger I mean they used to play it on different channels but never really was a huge fan except for certain characters one of the characters I like was Snagglepuss, and it, it of course is the way that he talks, which is just hilarious. Adamant, I don't remember seeing Adamant, but uh, I do like the character's design and just the fact that he's basically a superhero. And these other characters, I just I honestly don't remember them. But it is interesting here that with this set, this next set of Hanna Barbera figures, that they do have chase versions for every one of these, except I didn't see one for Adamant. Somebody let me know if you've seen a chase version of Adamant. But I know they definitely have a chase version for these other figures, including Snagglepuss, Wally Gator, and then also Touche Turtle. So if you're a fan of these, be on the lookout. And I know me personally, uh, I think I'd like to get Snagglepuss even if it is the common. But it definitely would be nice to have the chase. The only real difference I see with all these is the coloring. The most uh, dramatic difference, of course, is with Wally Gator because they completely changed his colors up. But for Snagglepuss, it's just a lighter color there and I think it's pretty much well now actually now that I'm looking with um Touche Turtle I noticed that they do have a symbol on his chest I'm not sure what that's all about I guess you have to know the character to understand that and he does look darker in his chase version but again if you're interested just be on the lookout for these one thing you'll notice in this video is I'm not sharing release dates and that's because there really aren't solid release dates even when Funko lists release dates, they tend to be tentative, like I said before. So I don't really go off of their release dates anymore. I'm just sharing what's up and coming for you all. 
Next up here is Zorn from Son of Zorn. I actually watched two episodes of this series. It's a new series or a recent series on Fox. Not the funniest show. It's it's okay. So I'm really wondering. Um, I know how quick Fox will cancel shows. So I'm kind of wondering already, will this show even get a second season? But um, if you're interested in it all, it's very curious to me that both of the versions of Zorn, whether he's um, in his common wear, which is the one on the left that's the way that he likes to dress where he, he looks a lot more like conan and then on the right you have his office attire there it's, it's pretty interesting to me that they're both hot topic exclusives so i'm not completely sure what that's about it's, it's kind of interesting though but yeah if you're into the show into the character at least then yeah that's where to look hot topic now the new day three pack came out recently at toys r us i hope if you were a big fan if you're a big fan of New Day, that you're able to get your hands on that. Because uh, that one's probably already come and go. I don't know if it's still available at Toys R Us or not. But they are selling these uh, guys individually as well. Big E, Xavier Woods, and Kofi Kingston. You can get them with this gold and white attire as well. So just be on the lookout for those if you want them individually. But I have a feeling if you're a big fan of New Day that you probably would want all three. But, I mean, it's up to you, though, of course, if you are a big fan of them. I don't really follow WWE anymore, but I do think the little clips I've seen of these guys, they're pretty funny, though. Very entertaining. Now, the Street Fighter Pops have already been releasing. Me, personally, I am i don't think I'm going to get any of them. If I were to get any of them, it would probably be Blanca. That's the one that I, I mainly like so far. And there's some characters they haven't released yet, like uh, No M. Bison. Yeah, and I'm really interested to see what they do with him. Vega as well, interested to see what they do with him. And uh, if you really know your Street Fighter history, you know about all the name switching and everything. But you know I'm talking about the American version, of course. But uh, Ryu, there's at least two other variations of him. I think there's the Hot Ryu, which I don't like calling him Hot Ryu, <laughs> but it's whatever. And um, I feel like I've seen another version of him as well. But this is an up-and-coming one, which will be a GameStop exclusive Ryu with the white headband. I'm assuming that this is inspired by the take on him and the uh, Alpha series because that's the only image I could find where he found where he had a white headband and even within the game, the actual gameplay, I don't know if he actually sported that. So again, if you're just interested in that, that's where you're going to find it at GameStop. Now, like I said, I, I don't think I'll buy any of these myself. I'm really waiting on the loyal subjects street fighter figures if you haven't seen those you really should take a look at them they're pretty cool as a matter of fact i may share an image of those in an upcoming video keeping it moving here at the legion of collectors when they had their suicide squad box they had they included um harley quinn and the joker with basically their more common appearance in the movie the sort of attire that they wore throughout the movie although of course the joker was wearing a different outfit in about every scene but uh definitely harley quinn the way that she was dressed the majority of the movie they gave us a figure a reaction figure in that style so now you see that they have another basically this is a complete line of the figures coming up and i'm assuming that there might be more on the way because there obviously are some characters missing here like uh they don't have boomerang or captain boomerang they don't have Diablo, uh, so I'm assuming that maybe they will produce more of those. I would hope so, actually, because, believe it or not, I'm actually interested in these. I, I really haven't purchased any reaction figures. The only reaction figures I have are the ones, um, the Harley Quinn and the Joker, and that's because they came in that box. But I think I actually would like these because they're pretty nice to display on the wall, even though because the way they designed the tab at the top, you kind of have to put it off center to make sure it actually stays upright you know that's just a little design flaw there but you know other than that i think they're pretty cool to display and i actually do like the designs of these figures might be the only reaction figures that i actually purchase and i still might kind of wait and cheap out and wait for them to drop the prices on these because i can't imagine these really flying off of the shelves not a lot of reaction figure fans out there Now this image here in the center of the screen, I'm amazed that I forgot to share this before. I've had this image for a while and I got so excited about it, I can't believe I forgot to share this before. But anyway, I was I was saying that I really hope that they do a Miss Marvel pop uh, that's Kamala Khan, 
the version of Miss Marvel because I really enjoy that character. I've been reading her in um, the comic books. Very entertaining. And um, yeah, they actually do have the pop figure on the way. And this is actually the back of the official box. Now, her alone is already exciting. And I have shared previously Iron Fist and Luke Cage that they do have different versions of them. They have the Netflix version of Luke Cage and then the old school version of Luke Cage. And then they have two different versions of Iron Fist, including a PX Previews exclusive with the white outfit on. So Jessica Jones had also already been announced and they still don't have the actual official pop to show, but that's the um, the sketch there of her. You know that the sketches, if you follow Funko, you know that the sketches tend to be pretty on point with what actually gets released. So unless there's some sudden last minute change, I think that's pretty accurate to what the pop will look like for her in Luke Cage. But take a look at the back of this box, people. Okay, you have Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Miss Marvel, already addressed all of them. But then also we have Black Bolt, and this is the main thing I'm excited about, Blade. Uh, I've been really saying they need to do something with Blade, bring that character back and this get, really gets me excited that they had the figure on the way. And I'm hoping that Marvel does something with Blade as well. I think I would actually like to see him in a Netflix series. And let's finally get a version of Blade that really focuses on Blade. I felt like that was the problem with the Wesley Snipes movies is that they weren't enough about him. Same thing with the Spike television series which stars Sticky Fingers from Onyx. Uh, again, not enough about the actual character of Blade. They had just a couple of episodes that got into his background, but didn't really focus on him. If they do a series where they can really do justice to that character, really focus on him more so, I would absolutely love it. I can't really judge the anime series because I only saw maybe one episode and I just wasn't able to watch any more of the others, but I really would like to check that out as well. But yeah, I'm definitely excited about these. Black Bolt, I don't, I don't know. I got to learn more about that character. I know that he's the leader of the Inhumans, and that's really all I know about him. Other than um, I know that he can't speak because his voice can like uh, release like earthquakes and, and stuff. Apparently, like his voice is that powerful. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely excited about Blade, and I hope you all are excited about him as well. A lot of Wolverine on the way. I'm sure this has a lot to do with his upcoming movie, Logan. Uh, which will be apparently Hugh Jackman's last time you're putting on the claws. So, uh, yeah, a lot of Wolverine on the way. And uh, you see that they actually say Logan on the boxes. I think that's pretty cool, actually. And then they have the Weapon X version as well. That's pretty awesome. So if you want Logan that most people are familiar with um, the look of Wolverine in the movies, him with the white T-shirt on, you got to go to Hot Topic for those. That's where they will have the pop and the dorbs. The um, other Logan, him with the jacket on, that looks like it's going to be a common, should be pretty easy to find. The Weapon X pop version of Logan is a Target exclusive, and if you've been following my videos recently, you know how I feel about Target exclusives. Not very happy when I see those as of late. I don't know about the Dorbs. The Dorbs box doesn't have a sticker on it, so I don't know if that's going to be easier to find or not. Me, of course, I want the pop version, and... Um, I, you know, maybe I'll have some luck, maybe I won't. But uh, I'm also interested to see what they're going to do with Wolverine in the next, uh, le almost said Legion of Collectors, but actually Collector Core box. I'm wondering what's going to be in there related to Wolverine. We will find out soon enough. This is one of the main reasons why I want to do Funko News this weekend. I saw this image of these Resident Evil Pops and I was pretty blown away. These are some impressive designs. Um, one thing I'm wondering about though is with the Tyrant and Nemesis, I wonder if they're going to be 6 inch Pops. It, it seems like they should be. Right now, I don't know. That's something that I wasn't able to find any confirmation on, but I really do feel like they should be 6 inch figures. To me, it would look weird to have Nemesis especially right along the same size as, say, Jill Valentine. Now, obviously, I think this is just the start of what they're going to do with this set. And, um, oh, I'm, actually, I'm sorry, I'm overlooking it. It does say here that Tyrant and the Hunter will be six-inch figures. That's my mistake there. Um, but it doesn't say that on Nemesis, so that does have me a little worried. I really think Nemesis should be a six-inch figure as well. That's my personal opinion. Tyrant will be a Hot Topic exclusive as well, if you all could have noticed that. 
and um, I'm not sure about any others being exclusive here but as I was about to say before before I cut myself off I really feel like this is just the start to what they could do with Resident Evil because obviously they don't have um, Chris Redfield here and they don't have Ada Wong's so he was pretty popular as well and there are some more enemies that they could do as well you know like a standard zombie at least and um, yeah I, I feel like this is an excellent start though because these are some great designs I really like the way all of them looked I mean they just looked like the characters from the game the liquor <laughs> looks impressive you know impressively creepy and I really hope that it looks creepy in person and uh, Nemesis looks pretty creepy as well so yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to getting these even though I'm not like the hugest fan of the game series I still really like the character designs and I like the sort of cheesiness of the story within the series and guns and roses you uh that a lot of you have been saying um that you really hope they do more with the pop rocks line and i think they are listening because they've been slowly rolling out more um they, they, and they actually are mainly focusing on rock which i don't have a problem with you know it's, it's more variety still but it's nice to see that they are producing more pops of these artists and i think guns and roses is a very smart move and I think this will pave the way for them to do even more with pop rocks and I don't think you have to be a rock fan to really appreciate these Guns N' Roses pops because I mean who doesn't love Welcome to the Jungle? That song to me is one of the greatest songs ever like Axl Rose just absolutely kills it in that song and I would not even tear my throat up trying to imitate him <laughs> you know but um, just an amazing song and it's been used a lot throughout the years and I never get tired of it I remember when they used it to promote um, Grand Theft Auto I think it was San Andreas um, I never got tired of the commercial every time the commercial came on I got hyped and I didn't even really play the game but I just like hearing that song so yeah you Guns N' Roses fans I'm pretty sure you're gonna wanna grab these up you know and have all three of the guys there together Slash looks awesome that's definitely my favorite design Slash looks incredible So as always, I do want to hear from you all. What are you looking forward to the most? For me, it's actually too tough to call this time. Um, maybe the Resident Evil, but at the same time, Blade and Miss Marvel, I, those are must-haves for me. And there actually are some Funkos, that, um, some Pops that are out right now that I said, you know, before that I really want to get. Um, I'm getting. I'm trying to get all of the Impostor figures and uh, that Earth One Batman. If you haven't seen it yet it's pretty awesome looking so there's some things out on shelves right now that are impressive and I think Funko's doing a lot of smart things here especially with Black Friday coming up and by the way there are a lot of rumors about some other pops and dwarves that are coming out on the week of Black Friday I didn't include all those within this video because for one thing I couldn't find images and then you know just a list to me I'm not gonna go with just a list because that's not solid I prefer to find images for you all if it's just listed that means that it's not a complete guarantee but Black Friday that week keep your eyes open that's all I can say because you don't know what's gonna pop up where there could be a lot more that comes along thank you all for watching those of you that don't want any spoilers this would be the time to click away because as I said I am going to get into what is in the Black Friday boxes so if you're especially if you're a youtuber that likes to give genuine reactions your first reaction to seeing what's inside of a box like I said this would be the time to click away but if you don't mind let's go ahead and get to it okay so with the Hot Topic and Walmart boxes you see the Hot Topic box here on the left it comes with Oogie Boogie with bugs that pop so it's like the um more of a brown sack looking version of Oogie Boogie and when you look at it close detail and again you can see this in the Hot Topic video if you go back and find that he actually does like have the little bugs like coming out of the sack and everything you know out of his skin so pretty interesting design there I think it actually looks better than the green version of Oogie Boogie then they had the Sally Pocket Pop in the Jack Skellington Dorbs and what's interesting about both of those is that they glow in the dark so that's what really makes them exclusive so if you're a big fan of Nightmare Before Christmas I don't remember the price point on this box but I remember when I heard the price point I was like you know that seems pretty on point so uh, I'm not gonna speculate about what the price is I can't remember off the top of my head but if you're a big fan I think it would be worth it the Walmart box is 
absolutely worth it. I cannot believe that this box is just $20. I really can't believe that. It comes with a Killer Croc and Popster, and like I said, if you're like me and you're trying to complete that set, this is an absolute must have. And I really hope that I don't have trouble getting my hands on it. Luckily, I live in an area where there are a lot of pop collectors around here, but not like rabbit collectors. And I don't think there's a whole lot of flippers in the area, luckily. So I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get this box, but I do worry about some of my friends that may live in areas where people may go snatch up a bunch of these boxes. Hopefully Walmart would have limits, but I don't know what's gonna happen there. But yeah, if you're trying to complete that imposter set, the Killer Croc is a must. And then it also comes with the Batman animated version animated series version of Two-Face which I really like as well and that'll go great along with the other Two-Face dwarves that's out and it comes with a pocket pop as well I don't think there's um actually I, the pocket pop is exclusive as well as well because it is the imposter version of Batgirl mixed with Harley Quinn so that's what makes that exclusive and then they also are throwing in a pint size hero which I don't think there's anything exclusive as far as that's concerned but all of that, if you add up the value of it, it'll probably come out to around maybe $35 and it's a $20 box. So that is pretty awesome value. I definitely have got to get that one. I heard rumors that there was also two other versions of this box, one with Superman, one with Wonder Woman. There has been nothing to confirm that though. It may just be a rumor, but we'll find out soon enough here in about two weeks or so. Now with the GameStop box, I'm speculating here because there's really not much to go on, but this is the rest of the advertisement. I cut, I intentionally cut off the bottom of the advertisement before, but you see it says here, a few lucky guests get a rare golden pop vinyl. So I think they are pretty much doing what they did last year. There'll be a couple of gold figures mixed in with these boxes. The other items in the box, it says that they're, they're going to be, um, uh, I think, uh, several, like four or five different collectibles inside of it. But I don't expect anything too special with those other ones. I remember last year, I think they had like two reaction figures, um, like a pocket pop, the doors maybe. I can't remember for sure. Somebody can uh, fill me in on that. But I know the rest of what was in the box wasn't too impressive. But uh, as far as the gold figures are concerned, I heard they may be Fallout related. And I did find a picture of a gold vault boy. I'm not saying that he's going to be in this box, but I know he is supposed to release soon. So he may be possibly in there, but again, I wouldn't be surprised if at least one of the gold figures is Fallout related. They did that last year with the power armor. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna go for this box. And me personally, the only way I would buy this box is if they actually have it secure at this time. If it's like shrink wrapped, if it's in plastic where it can't be tampered with, then I may go for it. Otherwise, I would not even bother with it because I really hope there won't be a repeat of that debacle that they had last year and luckily that time last year I wasn't collecting yet I just basically got to hear about the aftermath of it once I did start collecting but yeah that's it for Funko news this was definitely a long edition but there was a lot to share this time and there's a lot more news out there so if you have any other releases that you've seen that I didn't cover please drop them down in the comments and thank you all for watching and you all take care till next time